Parent and child fostering is a term we use for when a uh, birth parent, um, that could be uh, mother or father, or actually both mother and father, come in to live with a foster parent alongside their child, which is often done as part of a parenting assessment from the local authority. The goal is to equip the parents um, to be able to look after their child and, and meet that child's needs and make sure that they are safe. It also, as I said, feeds back into the assessment um, with the local authority so that they really have a good understanding of where there might be some extra support that they might need to look at. There could just be some concerns that actually, you know, there, there's some areas that that parent or those parents need um, some extra work in. Um, they might not have had the support themselves, um, you know, to understand how to meet a child's needs. Um, they may come from um, you know a really challenging background where actually they haven't they haven't had um, the learning and understanding of how to raise a child safely. Often, the foster parent isn't going to be directly uh, involved in taking over the care of that of that child because actually the purpose of the assessment is to see how the parents are able to do that. But it's with offering support and if needed, um, if the if the foster parent needs to take over for some reason, then they obviously need to be able to make sure that they can then care for that child without the parent there. Parent and child fostering normally lasts for around 12 weeks. This is carried out um, within the foster parent's home. So it's, it's the same as when you welcome a, uh, a foster child into your home, that you're kind of welcoming a, a parent and that child as well. The parenting assessment report is completed by the local authority. Parts of the report are taken from a lot of the feedback from the foster parent because obviously they're their day-to-day actively engaging with that parent and that child so they can feed back you know, specific information that is needed um, and it also any work that other professionals have done. Once that assessment has been finalised, um, it then is very much what the conclusion of the report is. Um, if it's a really positive outcome, positive conclusion, um, then the foster parent would likely look at helping support that um, parent and child to kind of move on. If the assessment is unfortunately a negative outcome, which can happen, um, then that foster parent again will then be looking at, okay, well, um, what's the next steps? That will be directed by the local authority and then they can work with the social worker to support whatever whatever that decision is. We've had some fantastic outcomes. You know, we've, we've had really successful parenting assessments which have, you know, then led on to that um, foster parent kind of supporting that transition that foster parent often you know keeps in contact with that parent and that child and you know because they become part of their family and um, which is really important that they become very close within that assessment period you know and some who become godparents as well which is <laughs> quite incredible <laughs>